Hey there, my name is Roland Martinez and this is a video presentation of my project in ECE123 section E02 and the project is to design and simulate a clover leaf antenna using the antenna designer app of MATLAB. So what you can see on the screen is a four petal clover leaf antenna model and the required uh, parameter for the design is uh, to operate at a range of 100 uh, megahertz to 2000 megahertz and to satisfy that uh, requirement I need to compute for the theoretical values for the uh, geometrical uh, compon components or parameters of the clover lip antenna so first is the clover lip antenna is a four petal clover lip antenna then to compute for the petal length is uh, by using the uh, wavelength formula which is equal to the uh, radio wave frequency over the uh, maximum target frequency and that is 3 times 10 raised to 8 over uh, 2 times 10 raised to 9 for 2 gigahertz and that is equal to 0 0.15 meters and to compute for the petal length which is the diameter or the radius rather for the petal or the length from the uh, center of the uh, clover lip antenna to the side is equal to uh, lambda over 4 and lambda over 4 is equal to 0 0.030 uh, 0 0.0375 meters or 37.5 uh, millimeters and the other parameter for the clover lip antenna is the width but in this 3d model the petal width is not the uh, total length of the width of the clover lip antenna but but the uh, thickness of the element of the petal of the element or the clover lip antenna element then I approximated for the uh, thickness so that the radiation pattern should have a should have an omnidirectional radiation pattern or a donut shape uh, radiation pattern for the uh, 3D surface uh, radiation pattern. Then the flare angle of the uh, petals of the clover de antenna is 90 degrees, so that the four petals should evenly distributed uh, for the full uh, circle and viewing on the top view you can see that the uh, petals are distributed evenly so this also helps for the uh, complete omnidirectional radiation pattern for the 3d surface uh, radiation pattern then the tilt axis of this clover uh, lip antenna is uh, at x axis which is 100 zero zero. then for the lower lip load impedance is 72 ohms which is located at the feed or the center of the lower lip antenna then I already uh, simulated the uh, lower lip antenna so that we can see the characteristics of the uh, design first is the uh, radiation pattern by clicking the uh, 3D surface radiation pattern uh, you can see that the radiation pattern is omnidirectional which is a typical uh, radiation pattern for a clover dip antenna and this is the same with the radiation pattern of the dipole antenna since it is a, a, an omnidirectional antenna So the frequency is at 2 GHz, the maximum value of the gain is 1.72 decibels and the minimum value is negative 28.3 decibels and the azimuth is 180, negative 180 degrees to 180 degrees then the elevation is negative 90, uh, negative 90 uh, positive 90 and the impedance is uh, 
you can see that the impedance plot that the uh, re resistance is in blue line where the resistance is equal to 72 ohms then the reactance is increasing as the frequency increases so the resistance and reactance uh, intersects at uh, 1.30 or approximately 1.38 uh, gigahertz or 100, uh, 1380 megahertz and in this uh, frequency the antenna is oscillating so next is the S11 parameter or the S11 plot of the lower lip antenna where you can see in the plot that the uh, magnitude in decibels is increasing as the frequency increases and it implies that the antenna is uh, radiating or radiates at best at 1.38 38, uh, gigahertz next is the current distribution or current radiation pattern of the clover lip antenna you can see that the uh, current distribution on the petals or elements is at 10 amperes per meter while the feed line or the uh, current distribution on the feed is 30 amperes uh, per meter next is the directivity of the elevation pattern at 2 gigahertz so you can see that the gain is 1.7 decibels at 180 degrees then the pattern is equal or symmetrical to the uh, pattern on the right of the uh, elevation pattern next is the directivity of the clover leaf antenna 2 gigahertz in azimuth pattern so you can see that the gain is 1.72 uh, decibels at 35 degrees and uh, which is almost symmetrical to the uh, radiation uh, or the pattern at 200 degrees with the same uh, gain of 1.72 decibels so this design and simulation of global dip antenna can be exported to the workspace so that uh, the additional or characteristics can be uh, computed using the functions for antenna analysis and also you can export this to the live script as a script so that you can run the uh, antenna design using the script that you have set. So going to the workspace for the simulation of the antenna. Uh, you can see that the antenna designer value is already or object is already uh, exported to the to the workspace and we will assign the cover the antenna to variable CL. You can see the initial parameters of the or geometry parameters of the antenna and the uh, impedance is already uh, showed in the command line interface so the additional parameters or characteristics of the antenna are the uh, VSWR charge current mesh and return loss, beam width, and acceleration first is the acceleration we can plot using the uh, function acceleration then the uh, clover lip variable at uh, 2 gigahertz between 20 and 30 degrees the acceleration is 10.79 and next is the beam width using the uh, beam read function so we can extract the beam width and the angles of the beam read using the parameter CL at 
2 gigahertz and from uh, 0 degrees between uh, 1 to 360 degrees so the beam width is 91 degrees which is uh, the end, uh, the difference between the angles 225 minus 134 so we can also uh, plot the return loss using the return loss word, uh, function in the command line so again same parameters but with uh, using the range of the uh, sweep for the frequency from 100 uh, her, uh, megahertz to 2000 megahertz with a load impedance of 72 ohms so this is the return loss you can see that the uh, return loss is decreasing from as the uh, frequency is increasing so the magnitude of re return loss is decreased from uh, 100 megahertz to 2000 megahertz which is around 4 decibels at uh, 2000 megahertz so we can also plot the VSWR of the global lip antenna using the same parameters and, but the, using the uh, VSWR function so it is almost the same with the uh, impedance plot but it is in magnitude of decibels or magnitude of reflection coefficient from uh, which increases as the uh, frequency increases so the charge and the current uh, plot is all uh, the same so we don't need to uh, show that since we already uh, showed it using the antenna designer so lastly is the mesh of the cover uh, antenna So using the fun uh, function mesh with the parameter CL for the cover lip antenna, we can show the uh, plot of the 3D mesh of the cover lip antenna. So the number of triangles for the mesh is 1,110, and the numbers of the tetrahedra is zero. Then the number of bases is 1,293. The max edge length is 0.0. .0 038 and the mesh mode is auto so this concludes for the simulation of the designed 4 petal clover lip antenna which operates at uh, 100 megahertz to 2000 megahertz thank you